types. And oh, here's one of my favorites. Deer in the bar. Alright. I want you to take a look at that for a second. Try to solve it for a moment. I'm looking at that, and first and foremost, the information they're given is not what I expect to see. Correct? They have a rectangle. They tell me the height. Did they tell me the width? No. The only thing they told me is that the perimeter is 42. And, <coughs> oh, excellent. How would I find, and actually, let's see where they want me to go, too. A ranger estimates there are nine deer in each square mile of the park. How many total deer are in the park? But I don't know how many square miles, right? And let me ask you this. What is a square mile? That's a measure of area. So the first thing I need to know is the area. Now that's easy, right? You just multiply the height and the width. And But do I have the width? No. The only thing they give me is a number. This is like MacGyver. I've got the number of eight, and I've got the perimeter is 42. Yeah, that's even an 80s reference. So I know that 42 equals... 8 plus 8 plus x plus x. Or 42 equals 16 plus x. So if I have 42 minus 16, right? Twenty-six. I have to split that in two. So divide by two. I know that each width is 13. So 8 times 13. So now I've got to multiply 8 times 13 to get the area. So this okay. is for third graders? Oh, yeah, exactly. So then I go 13 times 8. Who? good thing I memorized those multiplication tests, right? So 4, 2, 8 times 1, so 0, 1. Gosh, there are 104 square miles in this park. And he tells me that there are nine deer in each square mile. Hold on, we're not done yet, right? So 104 times nine. Whoo, nine times four is 36. And then nine times, my gosh. There are 936 deer in this park. And this is third grade. 